of the things you guys might not know about me is that aside from being an excellent reporter, I'm also a freelance attraction writer. And I'm so excited this week, I get to show you one of the shows I wrote. This is Drip. It is one of Orlando's uh, hidden secrets. We're actually on iDrive right now, and this is the back of Senior Frogs and Denny's. There's not even a sign out front. You have to know where it is. We're literally walking into the loading dock of this building, but this show is so worth it. Come on. All right, Mariko, tell us, <laughs> what is Drip? How do you describe it to people? Well, um, Drip is a combination of performing arts and visual arts. Um, we dance and paint flying water and sand to a live rock band. Uh, we tell a full theatrical love story, and the audience gets to stand right in the middle of everything. So uh, performances happen in front of you, behind you, in between you. And when you get here, we actually have you change into one of our white Drip shirts and give you a paint station where you can mark yourselves with a color. Each color has a meaning in our the world that we've created. Um, and we also have a bar, and so people can just come in and have fun, let loose, and have an experience they've never experienced before. So now, what, uh, what kind of person would enjoy this show? Is this kids to adults? Who do you recommend comes? Um, anyone who's looking for something outside of the box, wants a new and exciting experience. Um, you know, families can come here, and I've, I've noticed that parents love to bring their kids because they just want to see expressions on their faces when, you know, paint, water, and sand are flying everywhere and, you know, new things are falling from the ceiling. But it's also a really great date night. So over here, this is the painting station. This is where guests can come before the show even starts and paint themselves up. Literally, in each of these are the different colors that represent the characters and the emotions of the show. This is really cool. So one of the cool things that you can do here at Drip is when you get yourself a white Drip t-shirt, they have professional t-shirt cutters that will cut it up and do uh, awesome designs and things. Now you can see this back here that they'll do, and uh, they're working on them right now. So can you tell me, how long does this usually take? Um, each t-shirt takes, I think on average, about 12 minutes. Uh, we try to do less than that though, to get more t-shirts cut. <laughs> sure, they're so cool, and they're all unique, right? Definitely. Every single one of them is going to be different from the next. So Drip also features a full cash bar with unique uh, craft beers, wine, uh, sangria, sake, and specialty colored beers. Uh, I always have to order my usual. Can I get one blue, please? Mm. Thanks. Oh, that's good blue.
so you just did Drip. Tell me, what did you think about it? Wow, what a great show. We had such a good time. It's just a very cool and shocking way to introduce your family to performance art. That's what, really what did you guys think? It was amazing. <laughs> How'd you like it? Awesome! I thought it was fabulous. It, we enjoyed it. Our kids enjoyed it. We like exposing them to different types of art and... This was a live art show that was absolutely so much fun. So how did you guys enjoy it? Oh my god, it was absolutely amazing. Definitely amazing. something different. Amazing. Amazing. Now, did you have any idea what to expect when you were coming here? Oh, no, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Not. not. Absolutely I not. I was told paint. <laughs> paint. Paint. Dancing. That's paint. pretty much all we knew. <laughs> how would you describe this to your friends? Something you've never experienced before in your life and something worth seeing in Orlando while you're here. It really definitely is something different. Go see it. It was awesome. Be prepared to get oh, wet. Yeah. Yes. Too. Be prepared. <laughs> What's it like being a dancer here? How much do you love your job? It's messy. <laughs> no, it's amazing. Uh, it's exfoliating because of the sand. But at the same time, you learn to use elements in a way that no one has ever taught you before as a dancer. You know, you grow up dancing in a studio with a mirror. Um, here, it's kind of like all about what you feel and what you want to do with what's around you. So it's great. Now, we, we've gotten some reactions from people so far leaving who have loved the show. Is this the, the general consensus? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there's no, no one has ever said they hate it. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, we, were, we were saying, we, we imagine people, you know, dressed like this may not like it, but people have to know what they expect, right? Absolutely, yeah. You know, you want to come without your best clothes on because that's how you're really going to get to enjoy it the most. So that was Drip. Uh, I'm so glad I finally got to show this to you guys. I've been so excited about this since I helped create this show. I want to give you a few tips if you do come. First and foremost, I recommend plastic baggies for your valuables. As you saw, you will get wet. Second, definitely dress down. Uh, I chose this outfit on purpose. And I chose a spot in the show that was most protected, and I still came out of here colorful and soaking wet. So be warned about that. Uh, if you do want to wear something like this, you can actually do some cool stuff. If you remember that skirt that Joe Vaughn wore in the Mardi Gras episode, that was actually a drip skirt that she had done here and then just let it dry. It turned out really cool. Uh, ILoveDrip.com is the website. They are open every weekend. You guys should definitely come and check it out. All right, cut. Oh, that was a good take, thanks. I'll take that mic for you. Sure, man. Yeah. Bring a towel for the car. <laughs> <laughs>